409 to 409. The race for a city council seat in Rochester ending in a tie. And believe it or not, it's not the first time it's happened to these two candidates. Armani Fleming is in Rochester to explain that and what happens next. At tonight's city council meeting, members voted on a new way to decide who gets the seat if next week's recount also ends up in a tie. It was like, you know, come on, you know, is this a joke? A deja vu moment. That's how Democrat Chuck Crassie describes what it was like hearing he and his Republican opponent, David Walker, had the same number of votes in Rochester's Ward 4 election yesterday. So I walk in and David like looks at me and he says, you know, and he throws his hands up and I says, you kidding me and he says no it's a tie and I says oh my god in November of 2022 the two men came face to face for a seat in the New Hampshire House of Representatives both receiving 970 votes this time around the final tally was 409 to 409 with six votes counted at the last second three for each yeah, and it was strange it was you know 406 406 and then they had six ballots left over and when they counted those six ballots uh, you think they would have went one way or another Tonight, Rochester City Council voting on how to determine a winner if next Saturday's recount also ends in a tie. This time, it'll be a bingo wheel filled with 20 balls, 10 for Grassy and 10 for Walker. One choosing even numbers, the other odd. And whenever ball comes out, even or odd, that candidate wins the election. We reached out to David Walker tonight, who wasn't available, but in 2022, he spoke to News 9 after their first tie. We've known each other for over 30 years and both well known in the ward, so it is what it is. We're still trying to figure that this is something that belongs in Guinness. That's, you know, this is, have we set a record here for, for a number of tie votes? And Chuck says regardless of the results, he and David will continue remaining close friends just like they have for the last 30 years. The Rochester city clerk and city attorney will be the ones facilitating the recount. In Rochester, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.